Hi everyone, in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can run AutoArchy scripts without having AutoArchy installed on your PC. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. All right, welcome back. So there are going to be four ways I'm going to discuss today, um, which I'm going to show you one by one. So the easiest way is to drag and drop. And just before we begin, you still need this autoarchy.exe file or any one of these different versions of autoarchy.exe file. So if you don't have autoarchy installed on your PC, then what you can do is you can go to the autoarchy website to go to download and hit other versions. And then there's going to be autoarchy zip file. This is the portable version of autoarchy. Now, once you finish downloading it, just go open and extract the zip file and there's going to be different versions of auto key saved in there so i'm just going to use this one the 64-bit auto key and i'm going to move this to my folder where i'm going to save my script to and the easiest way to uh, run the auto key script when you don't have it installed is Say for example, I'm going to create a message box that says hi for test script 2 and you just simply drag and drop this into the auto key executable. You're going to get this warning, but if you ignore it, then you should be seeing the message box showing up, meaning the auto key script that I've just written has worked. Now, you can also use the command prompt. Uh, so go start and bring up the command prompt and then can change the directory to wherever I am so this folder and then what you can do is go auto hotkey u64 exe and then provide the name of the script wrapped in qu quotation marks if your script has a um, a space in the in the name and uh, I don't know if I have to provide the extension, but let me try this out. I don't think I have to. Okay, I think I do have to. Um, and type out auto key, and if I look at it, there we go. Got the message box. So, now if you don't want to do this, this is too cumbersome, then what you can do is just create a text file, and then call it cmd. And then go into it by click right clicking into it and press edit and type out auto hotkey u64.exe and then type out the name of the script again just like you did in I did in the in the command prompt and if I get out of this and double click this to run it I get the command prompt and the high right I can also change this to batch file I think it doesn't really matter there we go, the same result. Now, if you have the auto key uh, file saved elsewhere or the test script saved elsewhere, um, you need to, so for example, I can go up one level and this is in desktop. If I try to run this again by running this batch file, it doesn't work, nothing, nothing happens. And that's because I need to provide the path to the auto hotkey executable. And that's going to be this. Now, again, if you have a space within the path, then you need to wrap the entire thing with quotation mark. I think to be safe, you can just wrap it. And um, this is still not going to work because you can't, it can't find the script. So Oh no, it did find the script. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. So this batch file was saved in the same uh, place as the, the auto key script itself. So it managed to find the script. But if you don't have that, let me just close the message box out. So if you have a new folder, let's say if you have a new folder and moved it to here, I should probably get out of this as well and reopen it. So there we go. This is probably not going to be able to find the script and that's because 
it's not saved in the same folder and therefore I need to patch that up and try running it again and there you go it works so it you, if the executable file for auto key is saved, saved elsewhere then you've provided the full path of that as well as the script if they're all in the same folder as you have seen the first time then you just run it um, without all the without all these paths now last thing is run command which you can bring up by pressing the start and the R key and this is just like the command prompt so all you gotta do is put all of that in I've got a backslash here and then test grip auto key place it in quotation marks and run it and I got a got a security warning but if I go ahead and run it I get the message box that is it and if you ever wanted to create a shortcut because um, your script say this script now is it doesn't have a hotkey now if you uh, if you run if you run the script that has a hotkey so say for example let me turn this into a hotkey emergency exit as well now if I run it by drag dropping it the script into the executable file and pressed H I get the message box because my hotkey is running press exit to exit um, I'm sure I actually, okay, I did exit out. Now, if you don't have a hotkey and it's this the script is just um, a one-time script that runs just like this message box and gets out, and you want to create a shortcut for that, what you can do is to create. Let me see if I can just remove all of this. So I'm going to save the batch file in the same folder as my script and the auto hotkey. Um, executable so if I run this it works okay now I'm gonna create a shortcut for this and then go back out to my desktop and in your desktop uh, save the shortcut in the desktop and go properties and here there's gonna be an option to create a shortcut key so you can do I, I don't think you can just do control or alt alone um, so what you can do is you can go control alt and I don't know uh, numpad 5 let's see oh you can do control numpad 5 okay not control alt and numpad 5 so control control and numpad 5 I've set it up so if I press control and numpad 5 now then that batch file is going to run okay uh, this is it for today's video I hope you uh, found it useful and I'll see you in the next video Hi guys, I just wanted to quickly show you before we wrap up the video that if you run the batch file, as you saw before, we're going to get the command prompt sitting behind the message box. And that's only going to go away when the script, the auto key script ends, which means in this case, I press the OK button. Now, if you don't like that, you don't want the command prompt to show up, then what you can do is you can add start in front of the command to run the auto hockey script now if i add that and run this again i'm going to get a flash of the command prompt but it will go away before the script ends